Hey guys, my name is Seven Array, and welcome back to the Talos Principle. Let's get into it, shall we? Play... Yes. Getting better at this. Okay, so in the last episode, this is going to take a sweet time loading. In the last episode, we realized that not everything is as it seems. There's dissent in Elohim's kingdom. We're, we're a robot on an island uh, solving puzzles and guided by this, this unseen force called Elohim and his guardians and such who are trying to kill us. Um, but they're good guys, so don't worry about it. But there's, there's like, dissent in the kingdom. Some of the stuff, there we go, some of the stuff that's been left behind. Uh, are we anywhere near where we could be? We sure are. Wonderful. We discovered this as well. But we went to, um, World 2. We went to World 2 and discovered that the world was sort of, uh, falling apart a little bit. Which is... strange? To say the least? Anyway, did I talk to this yet? I think I did. Wow, so I gotta turn down my, uh, mouse sensitivity. Jeez. I don't remember if I looked at these yet. I don't think I did. 12, the Council of Zeus. I don't think so. The mighty bronze bulb pulled the carriage round, mighty bursts of steam issuing from their nostrils. Finally, they came to the gates at the top of... Huh. Here assembled all the... Here assembled were all the many generations of the gods and demigods and souls of the mortals, steel and bronze and iron, memory of flesh. The clouds parted far beneath, revealing the beautiful plains of Macedon. I think we read this one already. Did we read... I think we read the other one that was the Rome one. Perspectives of... Yes, we did. Okay, so we... Oops. Yes, we already, uh... Read this stuff. Cool, okay, cool. So, we- I promised you that we were gonna go touch this tower. Let's go touch the tower and piss off Elohim, shall we? There's a bunch of other stuff to do. Like, there's- there's B and stuff over here. Why am I immediately, like, distracted by things? Hey! I can't- Oh, there's one over here. Are you- <gasps> It is! It's looking at me! Oh! That's creepy! It's looking at me! Oh, that's weird! Oh, that is weird! Okay, I don't have any of these sigils, I think. Let's go talk to this guy, I guess. Why not? We'll gather more information. A network is still inaccessible, I guess. Oxyrinchus? Let's look up oxyrinchus.html. The great irony of the oxy- I'm gonna say call it oxyrinchus, I have no idea what it is. Of the oxyrinchus papyri is that such a vital source of information about the ancient world exists only because of a garbage dump. While the Library of Alexandria burned at the hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us of unimaginable insights into history, philosophy, and art, the papers carelessly thrown away by the citizens of Oxyrinchus survived to the modern day. And though it is true that the great deal of what we know today is because of the conscious efforts of individual and organizations, such as the spectacular translation and preservation of work done during the Islamic Golden Age, so much more is simply the result of coincidence and luck. We've lost texts that the ancients considered to be absolutely essential, while utterly trivial, even plagiarized work has survived unharmed. Uh, lots of stuff. So if we want our descendants to remember more than glittering emo vampires and auto-tuned teen pop stars, we have to invest in blank, make sure that blank, blank, blank. Ha! Funny. Well, that's interesting. But, on the same token, that seems counterintuitive, because the stuff that they worked hard to preserve got fucked over. But the stuff that was carelessly thrown about was the stuff that ended up being preserved. So... What should we really do here? Interesting. Let's open the Book of Osiris.wiki. The Book of the Scribes of Osiris, sometimes referred to as the Book of the Journey to Aru, Aru? is an ancient Egyptian text discovered in the excavation of Oxyrinchus. Oxyrinchus? I have no idea. It has caused a certain degree of controversy among Egyptologists, as some argue that it is a classic funerary text, such as the Book of the Coming Forth by Day, while others believe it to be a poetic work not intended to be understood literally. The book tells the story of a dying man who asks a scribe about the afterlife. The scribe, a servant of Osiris, describes, describes, how the man's ka, life force, will become separated from his ba, personality, and how he will have to reunite the two and become an ak, living intellect, passing a series of trials in the duat, the underworld, in order to reach the paradise of Aru. Unlike similar texts, the book of the scribe of Osiris focuses less on giving advice or, uh, a recent study Carnahan Hassan suggests the text may have been intended as a philosophical commentary on the world of the living through the allegory of the Duat. It remains unclear whether this was the intent of the original pre-Alexandrian author or a result of the later translation into Greek. The earlier manuscript, which is considered to be more authentic, it is, too, is too fragmentary to provide answers, though perhaps further excavation may... Interesting. So someone commented, 
uh, in one of these in the game, someone commented on one of those uh, uh, QR codes that they're not sure whether these uh, these little bits of text here have been laid out purposefully or accidentally. And of course, this being a game, I'm sure it was purposefully done. So let's see, is there one in here? There sure is. What do you have to say to me? One thing I've noticed is that this game is non-linear, so therefore I don't know if any of these are in any sort of order at all or not, which is interesting, always. Uh, heaven and hell.txt. Oh, nice. Open heaven.txt. It's the first one. The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. What matter where, if I be still the same? What matter- wait, what? And what I should be, all but less than he whom thunder hath made greater. Wow, that was a series of words I couldn't parse. Here at least we shall be free. The mighty hath not built. Here, for his envy, will not drive us hence. Here we may reign secure, and in my choice, to reign is worth ambition. Though in hell, better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Interesting. So that, I think I understood what that said. That was saying that it doesn't actually, actually matter where you are. Uh, you can make the best of your situation. So why does it matter where you go? Whether you go to hell or whether you go to heaven, you in, the, you in your mind can make it to be whatever. So you might as well rule in hell than serve in heaven. Interesting. The mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell or a hell of heaven. So that's the, the whole thing. And... Here, we might as well do as we please, so that if if we end up in hell, we can still, you know, reign as opposed to serving in heaven. So, do as you please, and let everything sort itself out. 1793, F3922, Blake William. The ancient tradition that the world will be consumed in fire at the end of 6,000 years is true, as I have heard from hell. For the cherub with his flaming sword is hereby commanded to leave his guard at the Tree of Life, and when he does, the whole creation will be consumed, and appear infinite and holy, whereas now it appears finite and corrupt. This will come to pass by an improvement of sensual enjoyment. But first the notion that man has a body distinct from his soul is to be expunged. This I shall do by printing in the infernal method by corrosives which in hell are salutary and medicinal, melting services away and displaying the infinite, which was hid. Collection, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell. Interesting, I like that one. That's a neat one. I like it. I like it. Okay, I think that's everything. There's a lot of striation going on. Let me see if I can... What, where am I? Let me see if I can f fix that. Hang on a sec, guys. There we go, that fixed itself. I might slow down the frame rate, but we fixed it. Okay, apologies if you guys saw any uh, tearing in the uh, video before I turned the V-Sync off. This must be the tower we were warned about. Seems the upper levels are locked tight. Elohim is taking no chances that we stray from his path. Sheep version 69. So we have Sheep, Faith, Bob, and I think another unnamed one are these four characters we've got so far? Uh, okay. What... can I go around here? This, there's nothing here, okay. Oh, oh, t whoops, didn't mean to fall off that, but I, I didn't expect you could fall off that. What's over here? I wanted to go over here anyway. Huh. Blue, whoa, whoa, what is this? Hi. Oh. It's a star, I want it, I want the star. Ooh, there's a star back here. Ooh, I want the star. Can I just run off the edge here? Is it gonna start yelling at me? I bet he is. Maybe not, maybe I can just run forever. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, okay, cool. So, don't go off the edge, but it's cool that you can. I like the geez, I almost like couldn't figure out how to get back up here. That was cool. So, what's up with this like it's like an Arctic research facility. I bet it is an Arctic research facility. I I have I've told you guys my theory and I'm I'm sticking to that theory that this is um something terrible and apocalyptic happened. And this virtual world was built based on the post-apocalypse. And perhaps the only things that survived were research bases in Antarctica, or Arct the Arctic, I guess, in uh, Tundra research bases. Which is why there's like these little outposts here, and the entire tower is situated here. Maybe this is where the computer that all of this is written- is, uh, running on is located on some computer still running 
out in Antarctica or in the Arctic or in some tundra based uh, area. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, let's explore the tower. We've thoroughly explored everything around the tower. Let's explore the tower itself. We'll go inside. I've been here. What is that? Oh, there's three of them. Ooh. Samsara! Oh, Samsara! Samsara! Oh, we got we got uh, cross cross game themes going on here. Listen to me very carefully. I've climbed this tower, and no good has come of it. This world is the only world. Elohim's will continues eternal, and paradise is banishing all of this from your mind. Oh. All those, oh, there's another one. Dog D zero G. All those say they made it to the top are blatantly lying, or they would say what was there. The voice keeps speaking to me. I can't get it out of my head. It's wrong. It's all wrong, and that's a corrupted version. For oh, version 0.0.0.666n. .0 .0 .0 Not an extra dot in there, but version 72, version 55, and I'm version 99. Whoa, there's so much cool stuff here. Oh man, and on the other side of this, that's the blue thing, right? No, the blue thing is. Oh, the blue thing is in the back. Okay. Uh, understand? Can I touch? Can I touch? Can I get in? Okay, can I get in? Can I... Ooh, this works. Hello, Homer, are you gonna yell at me? I think you are. Cannot detect location yep. of primary subject. Oh! Query. Off Query. the radar. Query. You don't know where I am when I'm in the, uh... Elevator, and the music just changed. Ooh, I'm... Oh! Oh! Hey, another thing! Is there anything that we associate more closely with intelligence than Alexander curiosity? Drennan. Every intelligence Up species the on there. Earth is attracted by the unknown. Our mythologies are full of riddles and mysteries and divine knowledge. Even the word apocalypse... Even the word apocalypse means revelation. It seems like our ancestors always imagined that even at the very end, we would... Solve one last mystery. The word apocalyptic means revelation. Taking that in the biblical sense, which all of this is in the biblical sense, uh, the book of revelations was the was the apocalypse. Was the uh, what is that? I can't do anything with it. Was the the revel? Oh, good. I have another one. Oh, okay. I, oh, I should just collect all of these up so that I know what I'm looking for. Yeah, so we'll just have all the sigils at the, um, the top of- wait, can I go- No, okay. Oh, we know, maybe because- hang on, I'm gonna try it. I don't think it'll work. But it might have not worked because I'd already pressed the first button or the zeroth button. Okay, he's probably gonna yell at me when I leave here. So I'm not gonna leave here yet. Because I'm gonna talk a little bit more, I also wanna see if, uh, button two does not function. Okay, you gonna yell at me, Elohim? Here I- oh, there's more, I missed these. The Shepherd version 82. On returning, from the, on returning from the tower, I feel the great tiredness and an enormous energy. What I now know disturbs me, but I hope that by living with this knowledge, I might provide a shoulder for you. The giants of tomorrow. Oh, that's the, uh, the idea that if I've seen farther, it's because I've stood on the uh, shoulders of giants. Interesting. The view from the top must be incredible at version 17. Oh man, is there, I'm gonna miss some of these. I'm gonna feel so sad for missing some of these because they're just in like not always perfect Where have places. You been, child? Nowhere, Elohim. Remember, the great tower is not. For what great you. tower? That great tower? I didn't touch it. The hope of eternal life for the hollow promises of curiosity. They're not hollow, and I'll thank you to not call my curiosity hollow. Thanks, because curiosity. I, I like curiosity. It's 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 a good thing. I'm gonna go around the back of these. I'm gonna grab this. Yeah, I gonna, just wanted to tag that sigil. Sigil series. Can I... I can jump over this. Okay, so what's behind these? Is it gonna yell at me about the words in the world? Oh! Hey! Explorations! Rewarding you! I think this is actually... I'm not gonna solve any puzzles. I'm just gonna, like, gather information this entire session. I get the feeling that this is gonna be this, uh... Episode. Considering what I'm doing. Okay, questioning doubt configuration. Keynote speech by Anne Sarab Sarabhai? Questioning doubt. They say doubt everything, but I disagree. Doubt is useful in small amounts, but too much of it leads to apathy and confusion. No, don't doubt everything. Question everything. That's the real trick. 
doubt is just a lack of certainty. If you doubt everything, you'll doubt evolution, science, faith, morality, even reality itself. And you'll end up with nothing, because doubt doesn't give anything back. But questions have answers, you see. If you question everything, you'll find that a lot of what we believe is untrue. But you might also discover that some things are true. You might discover what your own beliefs are. And then you'll question them again and again, eliminating flaws, discovering lies, until you can get as close to the truth as you can. Questioning is a lifelong process. That's precisely what makes it so unlike doubt. Questioning engages with reality, interrogating all that sees. Questioning leads to a constant assault on the intellectual status quo, where doubt is far more likely to lead to resigned acceptance. After all, when the possibility of truth is doubtful, excuse the pun, why not simply play along with the most convenient lie? Oh, I like this, and I like that that's, that happens to be a reward for curiosity, is questioning things. That's neat. Uh, partition.eml. From Robert McLean to Ian Mailing List. Archive project subject EL partition. Hi folks, this is just to let you know that for reasons of convenience and security, we've partitioned EL into two separate systems. The Talos team will be working on EL0, I wonder if that's where Elohim comes from, while the, ta while the ELO HIM Elohim. Wonder. While the archive team will be working on EL-1, you may notice that an EL2 partition, you might also notice an EL2 partition, but don't worry about that, it's just the operating system doing its thing. There's another one. Are we going to run into ELI? Or an EL2? EL... E Eli? Oh, interesting. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I like it. Okay. Him. From Bob Rokovsky to Alexandra Drennan. Subject, him. Alexandra Drennan, I think that was the one that was talking in the Sphinx thing we just heard. Hey, Alex. I agree that we need something that'll keep all the modules working together. Evaluate a final test. And I think I have the perfect solution. It's called the Holistic Integration Manager, a fancy name for something a lot like a dungeon master in a pen and paper RPG. We created it to help run some MMOs back in the day. We needed something that would be able to unite procedurally generated and user submitted content into a coherent whole so the game wouldn't become too chaotic and inconsistent. It's a genuine AI, somewhat limited in its ability to grow but capable of parsing and understanding text, images, audio, even videos. It takes all of the information it can find, interprets it, and then builds and maintains a world based on that. It's not perfect, but we don't have a lot of time, and it would be easy to adapt the code for our purposes. I wonder if this AI is residing, this, uh, this HIM, Holistic Integration Manager is residing on the EL1, the EL0 partition. So Elohim, I bet it is. I And I wonder if he got confused and looked up that Elohim means God and and became God. Ooh, 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 that would be cool. And also we stumbled across that really quickly. That's all the things over here. So is there more underneath the other one, behind the other one? Let's... let's Let's take a quick jaunt around this entire uh, island, shall we? Because goddamn, I'm a curious fucker and I want to know everything about this game. I think The Witness helped me a lot. I don't know if you guys are watching The Witness and The Talos Principle at the same time. If you are, thank you. Um, but I think The Witness has helped me a lot. The Witness and also uh, Abduction have helped me a lot in sort of understanding... Uh, like, curiosity, really. What it means to be, uh, like, thoroughly explore things. You know, check around here, check over there. Don't, don't go three quarters of the way around a structure and not actually look at the last piece of it. Like, is there, is there something I missed in here? Double, triple check. Look around every corner. I want to know what that blue thing is. I really want to know what that blue thing is. So... And, and, like, different games are going to hide things in different places, too. So, like, the fact that I've been playing all these different games, I think, is helping me. Like, all the games are sort of helping with each other, I suppose. It's nice. Is there another console under here? There isn't, so there was just that one over there. That's fascinating. Oh, I love it. And also, I don't want to, uh, miss anything for your sake, either. Because, like, as, you know, as you guys aren't playing this game, or I assume you're not playing this game as well, so I don't want to leave out too, too much. You know, because then then everybody misses out. Or right, I think that's everything. I really think that's everything. Uh, that was from what? That was from C. I want to go to B. I think, and we'll see if. No, I can't go any of these yet. Okay, I have to go and finish off all the stuff in A. So let's carry on back here. Um. Yeah. Okay. 
and we'll see what this world has in store. There's a lot to this game. There's a lot to this game, and I intend to finish it. Um, just looking at all the worlds in A, like all of these worlds, and then B and C also have worlds of their own, and it's just... There's a lot to go by here. There certainly is a lot to go by. Let's get through World 3, and then I think we'll call it a day. Because we've already, we've already spent quite a bit of time here doing stuff. There's only four more of these and a bonus star to get. I don't know if I can get that extra star. I think the second, the star in the second world that I couldn't find before is in the overworld portion in that locked room. And I don't have the key for it yet. Have I talked to you yet? I believe I have. Yeah, I came here first to get this, this, uh, piece here. Let's carry on and find more pieces, shall we? Let's go here first, I suppose. We'll go for the red L shape, which will help us get into whatever one was. An escalating problem. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's paint. What's painting? What's mean? Oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, I was trying to read a thing. Thanks. I spent much time waiting for the designer to take my hand until I realized that he had been guiding me all along. I realized that it isn't for me to seek his help. It is for me to help myself. 1w slash faith. There we go. Uh. Oh. Um. I can get up here. Are you gonna bounce into that? Uh, I wanted to jam you, actually. Are you gonna bounce into that, or are you gonna turn back around? I'm not super sure. Okay. I've trapped you in here. I don't think there's anything in there. I should have gone in there first. I'm actually gonna jam him. I'm gonna jam him and walk around and see if there's anything else. Ah, oh, he's fucking stuck on me. I don't see anything else here. There we go. Let's actually see. Well, there's the sigil. I don't know that. Oh, that's a. That's a ladder? Why is there a ladder going into the sigil? That's strange. Okay, uh. Let's carry on, shall we? I'm gonna leave these both here. Take this with me. What is... nothing, just gates, okay. Gates, 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 gates. I guess I have to leave this here, maybe, unless I can find another one. There's a lot more low... oh! Oh! Oh, it's one of those. Okay, so we're gonna have, uh... Okay, so I can't do that for me. I think I gotta find another one. I wasn't sure if I could take that up to the top and jam it. I don't think I can. The store is locked. Oh, so I get to find a key. I have to be able to find a key. Oh, good. I, I thought I was going to have to fall down. Then I'm like, what if I fuck up? But there's stairs on the other end. Joyous day. What is... Oh, it's keys. Oh, it's keys. Okay. I have to find a jammer, though. What is... What is making that noise? There's, there's too much stuff around here. Yes, I know. I don't actually know how close I have to get to those guys to set them off. Uh, I have gotten close to them before, obviously enough to set them off, but I was a little startled by the fact that I did that to pay attention to uh, what it was. Is this just one? I think this might be just one. I thought there was uh, more than one. No, it's just one guy. No, there is. Oh, there's a guy in the outer perimeter, too. Okay, can do. So I've got to time this properly so I don't fuck it up too badly. There we- Oh, no! That's the fuck up. I understand. How do I get the jammer, then? Wait, do I have one jammer? I gotta find another jammer. Hang on, guys. Let me go find another jammer. I will be right back when I find it. Oh, wait a minute. No. No, no, no. I'm an idiot. I can just do this. No, I can't. Shoot. Shit. Ugh. Wait, no. I know what I can do. I can put this here. There we go. Then I'll go up and around. Oh, clever. And pick it up. Yes. Yes. Good. Oh, that, ooh, neat. Interesting. That's interesting, because... I, it would have taken me... It took me a while to figure that out, because if you're here, and then you try to grab it from here, it forces me to go and get it. That's a little interesting. So I was taught that you could only be on one side of it. That's interesting. Okay, having done that, now I can use this. Try not to run face first into one of these guys. I'm gonna run face first into one! Woo, okay, I'm awake. Sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't know where he was. Key's gone. Just one key. I wonder if I can royally fuck myself over by bringing this key out of here and then using it in the, uh, world two. I wonder. 
Can I take that key? I certainly can't take that key back. Oh, this is the issue. That's the issue. A compounding problem indeed. Alright, I want to know where this guy goes. I want to know where this guy goes. I have to somehow slip by him. Oh wait, no, I did it. I'll, he'll just keep going. That's fine. Okay, I get it. So he's actually going to patrol all the way over there. That's what the escalating problem is. I have to use this to open various and sundry things. Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Now he's over here, and I gotta grab this to keep him in here. Good. Now where's he going? Oh, good. He's coming back this way. I think he went up there and bounced. Oh, this door is still locked, I think. Yes, okay, good. That's what we have to do. Okay, cool. So now I have to go get the keys again. <sighs> Try not to run into these, these fuckers. <sighs> you don't see anything. Cool, okay, good. Yeah, I know, but you're not gonna come after me. Okay, good. That's it. Oh, that is it. I have to remember that they're also not gonna chase after me. That's the scary t Ooh! That's the most frightening part, is that they seem like they'll uh, chase after me. How about you just chill? How about you maybe just chill? I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna go all the way back down there. That's what we need to do. That is exactly it. Timmy Dams. Boom! Okay, hopefully that doesn't destroy- Oh! Oh! oh. Hopefully that doesn't- Oh! What? Ugh, oh, you must be joking. There we go. And now, let's be safe about this and not dumb. Oh wait, no, I have to be dumb. I have to go around the other side. Shit! Damn it. Gotta wait for him to go again. Okay, cool. That, that was interesting. I did not expect, uh, that I would have to lead him places. But now it's a- it's another piece of a salute, another piece of a, uh, puzzle. Oof. Another- another type of puzzle. Another type of solution to a puzzle. I can English. Another type of solution to a puzzle. That's good. I'm slowly building a repertoire of these. These ways to solve puzzles. So now these two should, you know, kamikaze each other. Yes! Brilliant! There we go. And we have our... Sigil. And that opened. Wonderful. Was there anything else in here? Is there anything else worth uh, looking at over here? Doesn't appear to me. Okay, cool. Alright, that is actually, that's gonna do it, because that, that took me a super long time to figure that out. So I thought we were gonna finish off the world, but I don't want these episodes to drag on too long. So anyway, saving good. That is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Savonere. This has been the Talos Principle. And in the next episode, we're gonna finish off World 3 and go explore more things, I guess. We'll see what happens when we finish off, um, I think we'll just go through all the worlds. I think we've unlocked most of, most of the plot, except for the terminals that are actually in these worlds, so we'll just see this game as it unfolds, I guess. I'm excited for it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.